Hello viewers, this is Wagda Renal taking you through today's tutorial on application of differentiation 1. And today's lesson you are going to talk about curve sketching for quadratic polynomials. So this involves determination of the following. 1 is the turning point in Roman 2. Is the nature of the turning point, Roman 3, the intercepts, and lastly, the sketch. So, we shall try out the, this problem. Given the curve y equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2, Roman 1, determine and distinguish the turning point of the curve. And Roman 2, sketch the curve. So you shall start with the turning point. Turning point you have to first differentiate. So the curve y is this, the y dx will become 2x minus 3, which is that. Then remember that for turning points, the y dx is equal to 0. So come and equate this to 0. And when you equate to 0, you come up with x as 1.5. Now then I'll have to get the corresponding value of y for x. So when x is 1.5, y will become is negative 0 0.25 so this you substitute for 1.5 from here where there is x you put 1.5 you will come up with negative 0 0.5 so I managed to get the coordinates of the turning point as 1.5 and negative 0 0.5 So now that we have got the turning point, we have to get the nature of the turning point. Is it a maximum point, a minimum point, or a point of inflection? So the first step will be to get the second derivative. So the first derivative was 2x minus 3, second derivative will be 2. And in this case, we realize that this second derivative is positive, meaning our point turning point is a minimum point. The next will be intercepts intercepts means you get the value of x when y is 0 and the value of y when x is 0 so shall start with x being equal to 0 when x is 0 y you substitute for x here in the expression for y and you'll get 2 when y is 0 the value of x it means the whole of this expression for y will be equal to 0 and in this case we have to factorize so the product the sum is negative 3, product is 1 times 2 which is 2. So you have to look for factors whose sum is negative 3 and whose product is 2. Those factors are negative 2 and neg negative 1 and negative 2. Therefore, the, the factorization of this will be x minus 1, x minus 2 equal to 0. So when this is equal to 0, it means your x will be equal to 1. And when this is equal to 0, your x will be equal to 2. So I've got the two values of x for the cor corresponding to y equal to 0. Therefore, the intercepts are 0, 2, 1, 0, and 2, 0. Next will be now the sketch. So the sketch you shall need the following. The first step will be the axis. Second step will be locating the intercepts third step will be locating the turning point and then to the curve and label the curve so let us start with that remember this is a sketch you don't need a graph paper it is a sketch so first is to locate the axis like that so that is the y axis that is the x axis then you have to locate the intercepts and the turning points like that then after that locating the intercept the turning points next we shall locate the curve so this will be the curve remember this was a minimum point meaning this point is minimum so it has to come like in that shape next we have to label the curve and that will be our labeling So now we shall go to problem 2. Problem 2 says that given the curve y equal to 7 minus x minus x squared, Roman 1, determine and distinguish the turning point of the curve. And Roman 2, sketch the curve. 
So we shall start with the turning point. The first thing to do is to get the first derivative. So we are given the covers y equal to 7 minus x minus x squared. So when I differentiate, I'll come up with negative 1 minus 2x. And after that, I have to remember that for turning points, the first derivative is equal to 0. So I'll come and equate my first derivative to 0 and after that I'll make x the subject so x will become negative 0 0.5. After getting the value of x, I have to get the corresponding value of y. So substitute for x in the equation of y, I'll come up with my y as 7.25. Therefore, the turning point will be negative 0 0.5 and 7.25. Now that I've got the turning point, I have to go ahead and get its nature. Is it a maximum point, a minimum point, or a point of inflection? In that case, I have to first get the second derivative. So second derivative, the first derivative was negative 1 minus 2x. So second derivative will be negative 2. If you realize this, this is a negative value. Therefore, my point is a maximum point. Now that I've got the nature of the turning points, the next step will be getting the intercepts. So when x is 0, y will be 7. And when y is 0, x, y is 0, I'll have to substitute for y in the formula. And in that case, I'll get 7 minus x minus x squared equal to 0. So in this case, I'll have to use bulldozer method whereby a is negative 1, b is negative 1, and c is 7. So substitute in this formula, b is negative 1, so negative of negative 1 plus or minus square root of b which is negative 1 squared minus 4 times a which is negative 1 times c which is 7, everything divided by 2a which is 2 times a which is negative 1. So I'll come up with 1 plus or minus root of 29, everything divided by negative 2. Therefore x can be 1 minus root of 29 everything divided by negative 2 to give me 2.19 approximately or x can be 1 plus root of 29 over negative 2 to give me negative 3.19 approximately therefore the intercepts are 0 7 2.190 and negative 3.190 So now that I've got the intercepts, turning points, and the nature of the turning points, the next, the last step will be to sketch. And in sketching, I'll need the axes well labeled. I'll need the intercepts, which are those ones. Then the minimum point, which is that. And lastly, to sketch the curve. So this is the sketch of the curve which is required. Axes should be well labeled. Then go to the intercepts and the turning intercepts and the turning point and lastly the shape of the curve which is well labeled so this will be the sketch which is required note that we don't use a graph we only sketch and only locate what the values which are required we don't need to demarcate that 0 1 2 3 4 no we only get demarcated with values which are of interest So I've gone through my my part of teaching you. Now it's your turn to try out the following problems. So the expected answer will be that. So that is problem two, and that will be the expected answer. That has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.
थैंक यू